Hi guys, Brian from Brian Bow is here. Happy Holidays and Merry Bow Mass everyone. In honor of the 12 days of Boa Mess, I am counting down 12 of my favorite types of locality boa over the 12 days of Boa Mess. So be sure to stay tuned for this series to see some of my favorite boas and learn about what makes them so special. Today brings us to day three of Boa Mess. And for day three, we have the Bolivian boa or the short tailed boa, Boa Constrictor Amorali. And so this is a farther south ranging form of boa than most of the other types found south of the Amazon in Bolivia, Paraguay, uh, and southern Brazil. And so these animals, much as the name suggests, have a short tail. And the tail is shorter than other types of boa constrictors. You can see this animal has maybe three tail saddles as opposed to most true red tails have anywhere from like six to about nine tail saddles. Hence the name short tail boa. So the short tail boa is also the thickest type of boa constrictor, the most stout. You know, so proportionately they almost have the shape of a ball python. They have this thicker body and this shorter body plan. The uh, Bolivian boas are a medium sized boa, typically getting to anywhere from five to seven feet as adults. But because of their uh, thicker body, they will be more dense and heavier than most other types of boas of the same length. They also have this kind of short head with these muscular jaw muscles, almost like the shape of a pit bull head. Really cool boa to work with. And these animals have a cult following. They've always been really popular among specialists that are into these Amorali boas. Um, unfortunately, they're hard to find, not unlike most locality boas, especially pure locality boas these days. But I'm lucky to have a beautiful pair of Amorali. These are a bloodline known as the Orange Crush bloodline because they have kind of more of an orangish color than other types of Bolivian boas. It's almost an orange with a little bit of magenta and purple thrown in. It's a really beautiful color. Most of the other types of Amorali are kind of more of a grayish silver color. There's another bloodline known as the silver, Silverback, which has this beautiful ashy gray coloration. Unfortunately, I don't have any Silverbacks. We would love to have a pair, but again, they're not very easy to find these days. So this is a, the, the uh, Orange Crush bloodline, as well as several other bloodlines were founded by the breeder Joe Terry back in the 80s and 90s. And this animal was produced by Kenneth Proctor back in uh, 2016. So actually this is an adult male and I'm actually attempting to breed these this year for the first time. So fingers crossed that I'll have some baby uh, orange crush Amorali sometime this summer. Um, if things go well. But these are just a really cool boa. They are quite strong given their uh, thick musculature. They don't move around a whole lot. Um, they don't really try to escape and they're quite interactive. A lot of people consider them to be the smartest um, type of boa that you can get as a pet. Some people even claim that they can recognize individual people and they will respond uh, to commands, you know, not unlike a dog. So definitely a really cool locality boa to have as a pet. As far as the husbandry, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, they tend to be a little more forgiving than the true red tails in terms of the humidity and uh, temperature requirements. Uh, but I've never had any issues with them in any way, getting them to eat or anything like that. Just a really great boa uh, to have in your collection. I just wish there were more to go around, but hopefully uh, more people will breed these in the future and they'll be more widely available to locality boa hobbyists. And this is my other Amorali boa. This is my female Orange Crush bloodline. And so this animal is a little bit bigger than the male. I'd say she's about five and a half feet long. You know, also five and a half years old. So young adult female. I don't think she's gonna get too much bigger than this. You know, so convenient size, but you know, definitely a very muscular animal as you can probably tell. One thing to note is that the Amorali will often have peak saddles. So sometimes people think that peak saddles are specific to true red tails and that's what differentiates the true red tails, but that's not really true. So you can see the peak saddles on this Amorali female. 
Um, other types of non-true red tails, including some types of boa and parator, also will sometimes have the peak saddles. And then there's a lot of true red tails, 100% pure, that don't have the peak saddles, that have round saddles. So you cannot use the shape of the saddle to identify what locality of boa that you have. But again, beautiful looking animal. You can see the rich colors on this orange crush female, the orangey purple coloration, the high contrast and the beautiful markings. Just a gorgeous boa to look at and to admire and a great choice for the locality boa collector. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the orange crush bloodline boa constrictor amarali Bolivian short tail boa. Stay tuned for more in this series of the 12 days of boa miss. Thanks for watching and happy boa miss.